Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. This is an AMOLED screen smartwatch. Those of you who know, AMOLED is one of the best kind of screens. It's every single pixel on there. It lights up separately. And so it can be low power with low illumination. It gives the opportunity to have always on display and very nice, crisp, beautiful uh, screen as well, especially if it's at least 400 by 400 resolution. Well, gang, I'm showing you a smartwatch with a 1.39 inch AMOLED 452, I believe, by 452. Amazing technology here. Let's check the specs on this. No, it's not an Android watch. This is one of the first 1.39 inch AMOLED screen watches to come to the market that has great capabilities and is not Android. And the price isn't high either. Check it out. From Banggood, we've got this one. It's the Z18, it's called. And uh, about $60 or so. Wow, 56 Nice, nice in flash deal. If it's a little bit higher, um, by the time this goes all live, check the show notes. I hopefully will have a coupon discount to bring it back down for you. Now, some of the features of this watch that make it really unique, in addition to that 1.39-inch screen, is the fact that it's got a built-in music player and memory to support four gigabytes worth of storage. So you can put thousand plus songs on this thing, tether it to your uh, earbuds and just play music away. It's got all kinds of sports activities, fitness activities, heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, the breathing relaxation stuff, and it supports full Bluetooth calling too. Something uh, the Android watches still don't do. So you got this great screen, Bluetooth calling, music playback. What else could you want? If you're not tied to having an Android watch, you don't need to download all the apps. This is that compromise watch that gives you all the typical things you'd use a watch for in that size of a, of a, a watch face, 1.39 inch, like the older Android watches, yep, right, 454 by 454, even more pixel resolution than the Android watches. Come in with a 300 milliamp hour battery, and because you're not supporting the full Android OS, you can get um, standby time of about two weeks and about a full week's worth of use uh, doing normal things with it. So what else we got in the box? This, this one's an orange one, um, orange band, silver. You can get it in different color combinations and whatnot. It has a charging dock. Now this is not wireless. You can see there's pins here, and they of course need to line up with the curved pins here. When you do, it's magnetic and pretty strong at that. It'll actually hold the watch. Plug it in. That's how you charge it. That's how you transfer data, your music, from your computer uh, over here to the watch so you can take it with you wherever you go. You've got a manual, getting started, Bluetooth call music smartwatch, Chinese up in the front, and English, English. Oh no! All right, guys, we don't have an English manual. Hopefully, there'll be something online. Well, it's an extensive manual, but it's all Chinese to me. Um, all right, we'll charge it up and turn it on. I want to show you this and the new and different app that it tethers to. Well, this is definitely an interesting watch, to say the least. I've had a little time to play with it, and I want to guide you through it, especially without an English manual to read. It has a bit of confusion to it, so we're going to walk through it. Here you go with a beautiful AMOLED uh, watch face on here. We've got the speaker down here, uh, which is great. If you have this on your wrist, you put it up to your ear to hear the phone call if it's a little soft, although it's actually pretty loud on this watch. Um, and so it's in the right place, uh, not underneath where it might get moisture. Really good design there. You got two different buttons. The bottom button is going to take you into your apps. The top button is going to take you back and turn it off. If there's an off, in this case, I have it set up to go into an always on screen. There's a lot of flexibility with this, so let's get started. I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to come down here and show you we've got all these different controls. There's the QR code to scan the new app we're going to be looking at called Fit Winner. Um, 
We've got information about the device itself, which you use for tethering. It's called the Z18. Bluetooth for when you're tethered, your battery power, and overall settings, which are really interesting. Here's where we go now. In display, I've got clock style, and I've got a few different watch faces, so I'll show you those. In thumbnail right now, later on we'll bring a few of them up in a bigger display for you. Quite a few, actually. Look at that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they just go on and on. There's that fun little digital one that they put on all, uh, often. So I'm going to leave that on for right now. Here's something called idle clock. This is your always on or not. I have it set as uh, this pointer watch face. So when the watch turns off, it goes to this instead of completely off. We also have a digital design and a cartoon design. And if you don't want it, you put no. So you always have to have an idle watch face. It doesn't know off, but it knows no. And because every pixel is black, it's the same thing as being off because it's an AMOLED watch. There's no backlighting. If there was not that, if it was IPS or a uh, different uh, design, there'd be a backlight on, but the pixels would be dark. And if you looked at it on from the side, it would glow a little bit. Let's uh, take cartoon. Uh, it says likely that it's going to use more battery. And I'm going to set that. So we've got a clock face, an idle face, and then we've got this screen off thing, which is what's the timing for it to actually turn the screen off. Let's go to 15 seconds. You have 15, 30, or 60, just so we can see. And then you've got always on. So you're always on in the background can be always or you can change it. So after five minutes, for example, it would go from the main screen or whatever you're doing. And when the time is up for that, it would go to the idle screen. And then after five minutes, it will actually turn off. Yeah, like I said, lots of different options. It just bought me out after my timing to the idle screen. And in five minutes, this would go black. And that's really, really off. Oh, yeah, confusing, but there you go. Um, I'm going to leave it in always on. What the heck, you, you know basically the gist. But that's the complexity of display. I have never seen that even on Android AMOLED. The old AMOLED screen watches, they didn't have that depth of settings, which is beautiful. You can set the time, but of course, when you tether it to your phone, it'll automatically update that. You can set your vibration strength, three different versions, and you've got a really robust brightness down to its lowest setting is like that, and its highest setting would just be way too bright for, uh, for the video here. So I have it up one notch from off, and that's plenty bright for what we're doing indoors. When you get this watch, it's most likely going to be in Chinese. So you're going to need to change it to English. So look at this. We've got all kinds of different uh, languages in here. They just go on and on. Well, it loops, it looks like. Not a whole, whole bunch. We're set on English. So I want to show you something from English. You see that icon there? Yeah. That's what you're going to be looking for. So I'm going to set the language to Chinese. That's what it's going to look like. So when you get your watch, there's the watch face we switched to, um, and you uh, activate it, you're going to want to come over. No, 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 no. You're going to want to go to settings. So you can scroll down, go to settings, go to language, change it to English, before you do anything. Does that help you out? Because we don't have that in an English manual to tell you. Then about is just basic about the watch. And uh, we already looked at that, Z18, and that was in that pull-down menu right there. So we've covered everything here. We go over to the left, we go over to the right, and we're going to loop around a bunch of screens. So from the home screen, doesn't that look like a nice digital watch? It could really fool people. <laughs> An animated digital watch with this particular screen. Step count, calories burned, distance traveled, and you've got a weekly summary. I've just started it, so I don't have a lot to show you. But we do have some extra charts on these screens other than the main one by swiping up. Here's... Uh, 
monthly or daily summary of last night's sleep time and it is showing you the breakout of full uh, your full sleep and of course the light sleep and deep sleep is in the app after you tether over there you've got heart rate you slide up here and you can get a continuous heart rate thing if you've got that turned on and it's of course going to be using green diodes in the back to do your heart rate blood oxygen and blood pressure are not here in these screens but weather is, and you can have it set for Fahrenheit or centigrade if you want to, and you can also get weather forecast in your area throughout the week, as long as you're tethered to your phone and it knows your location. And then you've got this mobile music thing now, and this is really fun. Uh, you Bluetooth tether to your phone, and of course then you can play music uh, from your watch, but the sound would be coming out of your phone if you've got it set up for that. I can go in here and I can change the mode to local mode or earbuds. So if you set up your uh, uh, true wireless stereo earbuds tethered to the watch for phone calls and music and you select this after you, wow, timed out, after you get into there, oh my gosh, where were we there? Okay, good, we came right back. Um, then you'll be able to play your music or phone calls right through the earbuds. I'll talk faster. I go to local mode now, and this is where you have access to four gigabytes of memory inside the watch. I've got a few songs in here. Um, we'll play a little bit of them. I don't know if you can hear it. Volume's up all the way. Okay. Okay. You hear that? And you can loop them, and again, you can change the modes. You can do all kinds of things. So you've got onboard music that you play through either the speaker or uh, ear earphones. And because you have that selection capability, you can also uh, switch it then to a different source so that you're playing your phone music and I think, I think you're going to get your phone music playing through the watch, too. I haven't really tried that. I'm not set up on the phone with it. But when you're tethered, uh, it's either going to play out of your phone. It has to be within Bluetooth range, right? Or it's going to transfer it over and play out of the watch. Okay, we're back to the cartoon face, which is the one that you get when it's in the always-off mode. If you think it's a real watch face and you try to change it, it's not going to happen. So don't uh, get mixed up or you'll wonder why your watch isn't working right. So that's the music, and then you're back to the watch face. So all these things circle around back to home, come up that way, and any notifications pushed from your phone to the watch will show up here, and we've covered all of that stuff. So that's everything in the watch. Now, with a different watch face, let's take a look at the actual apps. To get to the apps, you need to press the bottom button. It's the only way. Touch here, and you've got step count, which, of course, we've already seen in one of the panels we went around. Same with sleep time and heart rate. Now, blood oxygen, that's a different beast. That's right here, and it's going to be using red diodes in the back. Uh, it failed. Okay, we uh, could try to do this, and... It'll give you uh, the last seven readings in here. It's a rather long test. It takes about two minutes uh, total to get the test. But yeah, it uses the more advanced red diodes. You've got blood pressure here. Again, it's going to take the reading using green diodes, just like heart rate. And of course, it's also not going to read thin air. You have to have it covered. When you swipe up, you get your systolic, diastolic uh, for the last seven days. And of course, the actual data is all going to be transferred to the app later when you do that beyond blood pressure blood oxygen you've got the music player uh, we've talked about that the sports section here you go different kind of a layout you choose your sport you go into it and um, you can do all kinds of things here there's no GPS it's actually running now going to give you your heart rate calories burned and the current time and when you have uh, things that step like walking and running, you'll get your step count as well. Uh, rope jumping, and looks like that's all of them that we've got for sports. Your sports history, if you have any, would be listed here. You've got a breathing exercise to inhale and exhale, rhythmic breathing built into this watch, and of course, weather in your area. Now we get into calls. You can get into a dial pad. When you're connected Bluetooth to your phone, to the app, you'll be able to tap out the number and place the call from 
from your phone. Your contacts will be listed there as well. Your text messages would come in here again being connected to your phone. You got built in alarm clocks in here. You've got a stopwatch that by the way will continue running in the background. Not too many watches support that. We'll come back there. This is the remote camera. It'll turn your uh, phone into a camera uh, mode and then you can take a picture using the watch. It's no camera actually built into the watch. And then again, overall settings, we looked at all of that stuff. I get down here, you've got a USB mode. This is where you can connect for either charging or mass data storage. This is how you hook it to your computer to transfer your songs over. And then your system stuff, shut down, reboot, and reset are all here too as well. And that's the bottom of all of the apps that you get from your app drawer. Um, and that came from pressing the button here. And that's it. Okay, let's take a look at the app. From the Google Play Store, you can go and uh, look for Fit Winner or use the link in the show notes below the video. Uh, whatever you do, you get it, you install it, uh, you open it on your phone. Uh, the first screen before you log in is a beautiful animations just floating all over the place. Uh, really nice to see. But you can create an account or you can log in as a guest. If you create an account, all the data it's collecting and you saw it just update will be stored day by day you can go back to the calendar and see previous days if you don't register it's local to the phone and if you uh, uninstall the app or something you'll lose all of your data so what have we got we got a calendar uh, that we could look at all of these things calories there's today's step count distance traveled it's giving you an ultraviolet um, estimation in your area and your uh, weather conditions cloudy with that temperature range right now that's all on your home page touch it you get the bar chart equivalent of when you took your steps throughout the day and all of that very simple basic kind of stuff you go to exercise now and you're going to get a screen that at the top is going to have a map of your area which we're going to hide for you here uh, but down below you're going to have options of outdoor or indoor running i can switch over to walking uh, and I can do writing. All of those tie into GPS in the phone and you can activate them from here. Uh, I'm not seeing a results of like uh, interfacing with the blood pressure or heart rate or any of those things, but it does give you basic uh, information and a track, a GPS track on the device. Come over here to um, the device setting and you see the model number and its power level you can 12 24 hour you can change your auto detect to short or long measurements metric or imperial so forth message sends smart alarm clock this is where we did the screen saver time you can do sedentary reminders or water reminders they're just looping counters um, wrist screen light that's twist your wrist to turn it on and oh look at that we're in a digital now uh, sleep mode now when you have this kind of a mode activated it seems to override that twist your wrist thing now when i press it i come back to a real watch face which i also changed on you and there's one of the digital uh, watch faces as well when it times out it goes back into that ambient screen because it's an amoled watch 1.39 inch same as all the old android watches boom there you go but this is like a sports fitness watch and a lot less money overall um do not disturb your temperature units can change you can take a picture you know set all that stuff up to remotely do that blah 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 what we didn't look at was the watch market so coming in here we've got all different kind of uh watch faces that are installed and available on the market i believe that's the one we had in here yeah see i can say set oh no that's a different one isn't it okay that's a digital one but this is different i can say set watch and there it just jumped over to it because it's already been installed if it says download i haven't installed them from the store but if it just says set watch you can jump right over there right away like that one set watch current well okay we're in ambient come back here there you go there's that particular watch face you can download a bunch of these and uh hold them in the actual memory of the watch this is all of the installed ones and i can just jump back and forth to any of those instantly set watch 
and sorry it's not popping out of the off mode uh, it's a partly cloudy day it's showing you the actual uh, conditions right out there which is really really great it even shows my last night's sleep time on this watch face and the power level it's really great there's a lot of nice faces on here so that's kind of the overall aspect of the device itself and then my is where you set up all of your things look at this guys you've asked for it it's here you can tether this watch to Strava meaning the data from the watch goes to this app and this app will cross over to either Strava or Google fit and transfer your data over there so all of that stuff is here feedback app stability settings all kinds of things are in here you can sign out and exit it if you want to and that's pretty much the overall app pretty simple basic kind of stuff but it gets the job done so we are looking at the Bakey Z18 it's a Banggood product and it's available right now it's really a decent price you're out 55 50 somewhere in there $57 and um, it's in flash deal don't know if I can get the price lower but I might be able to check in uh, show notes I have a special coupon discount page and it's listed there click on that too and uh, whenever there's an updated uh, coupon or a special exclusive coupon they issue for me I put it in there in, and they're all the different watches so whatever's really on good sale right now is there uh, hopefully this one included and you can pop over there and pick it up you've been watching smartwatch ticks we really appreciate you being here and sharing with your friends that were here we'll see you again soon thanks for watching